This is Steph Mischuk and welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to learn how to create forms in HTML. So this is going to be a quick video. We're going to jump through the paces and it's going to be quick. So on your desktop, whether it be on Mac or PC, you want to create a new simple text document. So on PC, you want to use, oh, I don't, I don't have an option for notepad. So I'm going to go into my menus. And I'm going to go all programs, accessories. You want to get out Notepad. It's important that you use Notepad and not WordPad because, you know, if you use Word or something, you're going to add all these extra uh, characters that you don't want. Anyway, so let's, let's create our form. I assume for this video that you've done the basic HTML before so you understand that. So I'm not going to get into all these little basic details about what tags are and so on. I assume that you know that. So this is going to be a bare bones page. And of course, I'm typing a little bit slower since I'm trying to discuss what's going on at the same time. All right, so what we want to do is start with the very first form tag. So of course, it's called form. And this is the very basic form tag that's really not usable. But it does set the form up. So let's add something called an input type. Now an input is basically, so we're gonna say input type, input, we're gonna go type equals text. This will create a text box. We'll take a look at it in a second. So this is a very basic uh, form input type equals submit that will create the submit button so we can send the form somewhere so we'll save that i'm going to save it as you don't want to save it as txt you want to save it as an html file so it's called index dot html if you don't know why i'm using index and so on and dot html if all this is kind of confusing for you you need to do a basic video on Web design. So let's look at this now. I'm going to open this. Let me just minimize this so we can see what's going on. And here you go, boys and girls. We have our very first form. We got our input box. We got our form so we can type in stuff. And it does nothing because we have to tell the form where to send the information to. That's the key. So let's open up our text editor again. So we got our form and we haven't told it anything so let's uh so we need to tell the form where we want to send this information to the information that we collect in the input boxes so let's uh let's add that now it's an attribute of the tag so the action attribute so this basically tells the form or the web page where you want the form information sent to I said that a couple of times. So we're going to say, uh, uh, let's call it response.html. So I'm going to create a, I'm going to create that page in two seconds here. So response.html. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So let's actually create another, well, new. And uh, where are all going to go? Okay. I screwed up there, boys and girls. So let's uh, let's try this again here. Open with uh, Notepad, Action Response HTML. Let's save all this. File new, paste. Let's take out the form. Again, this is very simple. I want to call this response dot html all right so we got response dot html and this is all it does is say hi so let's let's check this out first of all let's launch the index let me minimize this for you guys hold on so let's submit something and of course it takes us to response dot html right response dot html and that page just said hi so let's uh let's see if what we can do next. What's one of the things we're going to do is we're going to look at index, edit that with notepad, and I want to put in a new attribute in the form tag, something called method equals. Now, there's two ways to send 
Well, there's more than two, but the two main ways to send a form to a uh, target script or page, like a PHP page or or a .NET page or something, is to send it either via GET. You see, we have GET or something called POST. Now I'm going to get into this in a second. POST. Now your programmer is going to tell you what method they prefer depending on how their script is configured. In a nutshell, and I'm not going to get into nerd details here, the method attribute tells the form how to send the information. You see, there are more than a couple ways, the two most popular ways are get and post, to send the information to the server. 